Ciao ragazzi e bentornati alla lezione di italiano. Come stai oggi? Tutto bene? Um, hello everyone, welcome to your next Italian video lesson. Um, if you remember, come stai tutto bene was what I said I would ask you at the start of each lesson. It means how are you? Is everything okay? And the Italian slogan andrà tutto bene, meaning it will all be okay. Obviously, the connection to coronavirus, the message of hope that they've been using in their country recently. So I hope you're all well. Okay, allora, la lezione oggi. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today. In the lesson today, we're going to be starting off with this starter. Um, you need to circle or at least find the places in the word wheel. Okay, so I'll start you off with the first word. It starts with il, which remember is the word for the in Italian. And we have castello, okay, so il castello, which is the castle. What I suggest you do now is pause, okay, fate una pausa, pause the video, and see if you can find all of the places in this word wheel, okay? Bene, allora, le risposte, okay, all of our answers. Il primo, il castello, e poi la discoteca, il prossimo, il bar. Poi l'ufficio turistico, poi il centro sportivo e dopo il duomo, poi la sala dei giochi, la sala dei giochi, poi lo stadio e per finire finalmente l'ufficio postale. Ok? Allora fate una pausa di nuovo, un'altra pausa. Okay, another pause in a second. I want you to just think, what do all these places mean in English? Allora, cosa significa in inglese? Okay, una pausa. Bene, le risposte di nuovo. Okay, so here are your answers. So hopefully you've come up with the castle, the disco, the cafe or the bar, the tourist information office. Remember, l'ufficio is the word for office. Il centro sportivo is the sports center. The words are the other way around. Centro meaning center, sportivo meaning of sport. Il duomo was the cathedral. Okay, the connection there to the English was the word dome. Okay, which is the thing that cathedrals all have in common, usually the kind of the, um, the domed roof, especially in Italy. Then we had la sala dei giochi. La sala dei giochi is the games room. The word giochi means game. Sala is the word for room. Poi lo stadio, the stadium, e finalmente, last one, l'ufficio postale, ok? L'ufficio postale, which is the post office, again that word, ufficio, which is um, the word for office. Sometimes they call it la posta as well for the post office. Ok, la lezione di oggi. Cosa impariamo oggi? Remember oggi meaning today. Oggi facciamo i posti in città. E facciamo l'ora, quando è aperto, when is it open, okay? You need to learn it so that you can use the time, which you've already done when we did school, in a different context. So that means in a different situation. Vocabulario chiave, key vocab. Um, a che ora, meaning at what time. Mezzo, remember meaning half. Quarto is the word for a quarter. They're important for the time. And this new phrase, è aperto, which means it's open. Okay, aperto, open. You may have heard me say aprite before, which means open when I'm telling you to do something. Aperto comes from the same verb. Okay, prima, velocemente. Okay, you're going to do this really quickly. It's not about accuracy, it's not about being neat. It's about writing as quickly as you can. Okay, allora scrivi l'inglese. Write the meaning for all of these words. Il Duomo, il Museo, il Teatro, il Castello, il Cinema, il Parco, il Supermercato. Ok, if you've not started, go, vai. Dieci, nove, otto, sette, sei, cinque, quattro, tre, due, uno. Ok, finito. Ok, I said it'd be quick, veloce. Le risposte allora? The Cathedral, the Museum, the Theatre, the Castle, the Cinema, the Park. The supermarket. Ok? Allora, se bisogna, fa una pausa. If you need to, take a pause. Ok? Spend a few minutes looking over the vocab, trying to commit it to memory if you really struggled with that. Ok? Allora, fa una pausa. E poi continuiamo. Carry on. 
same thing again, scrivi l'inglese velocemente, ok? As quick as you can. Ok, off we go, vai. Il bar, il centro sportivo, la sala dei giochi, la piscina, lo stadio, l'ufficio postale, l'ufficio turistico. Here's the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ok, finito allora. Ok, risposte. The cafe, sports center, the games room, the swimming pool, the stadium, the post office and the tourist information office. Ok, di nuovo, se bisogna fare una pausa, fallo ora. You need to do another pause and do it now to go back over the vocab. And if you're fine with that, let's carry on. Continuiamo. Ok, allora, una scelta. A choice, okay? Remember, it's important that you're saying these out loud rather than just listening to me doing it. So, two things. Which one is it? Che cos'è? Il castello o il duomo? Okay, e il duomo. This is the, the cathedral, il duomo. Che cos'è? Il museo o il parco? Il museo. Che cos'è? Il cinema o il castello? Il castello. Okay, che cos'è? Il teatro o il museo? Questo è il teatro, the theatre. Che cos'è? Ovviamente, obviously, il cinema. Che cos'è? Il castello o il parco? E il parco? Il supermercato o il museo? Questo è il supermercato. Questo è il supermarket. Ok, ora scrivi l'italiano. Ok, scrivi l'italiano, completa con le lettere che mancano, completa gli spazi vuoti, ok? Allora bisogna una penna, you need a pen, bisogna una penna. Ok, so you can see the English, you can see part of the Italian, what letters have I taken out, ok? Allora fa una pausa, so pause now, take as long as you need, when you unpause it you will obviously hear the answers. Ok, le risposte, eccolo. Duomo, museo, teatro, castello, cinema, parco, supermercato. Ok, ripetete. Il duomo, il museo, il teatro, il castello, il cinema, il parco, il supermercato. Ok, va bene, finito. E di nuovo, ok? Same exercise again. Continua a scrivere l'italiano. Ok, fa una pausa. Take a pause. E le risposte? Il bar, il centro sportivo, la sala dei giochi, la piscina, lo stadio, l'ufficio postale e l'ufficio turistico. Ok, va bene? Perfetto. Ok. Allora, ora facciamo un esercizio di ascolto, ok? Ascoltate. So, a listening exercise. It says, a che ora abina le frasi, ok? Abina le frasi. Allora, io parlo in inglese, ok? I'm going to say the phrase for you in English, or the, the time, in fact, in English. So, remember that if it's got alle or al at the front, it means at. Okay, then the first number that you see is the hour, and then the final part of the phrase is the minutes. Okay, so your first one, numero uno, okay, which of those times is 12.40? 12.40. Numero due, which of these is five past three? Five past three. Numero tre, I'm looking for ten past two. 10 past 2. Numero 4, number 4. Which time is quarter to 1? Quarter to 1. 5. What about 11.25? 11.25. Number 6. Which time would be 4.20? 4.20. Numero 7. Seventh question. Looking at quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. E finalmente, numero otto. Which time would be half past nine? Half past nine. Ok, allora se bisogna, può ripetete. 
Okay, pour it better. If you need to, you can go back and repeat it. Take the video back, listen to it again. If not, okay, le risposte. Here he answers. Le risposte. Uno G. Due D. Tre B. Quattro H. Cinque A. Sei C. Sette E. Otto F. Okay, va bene. Uno G. Due D. Tre B. Quattro H. Cinque A. Sei C. Sette E. E otto F. Ok? Finito. Ok, scrivete a che ora? Ok, so you've just heard these times. Now you need to see whether or not you can remember what they were without me giving you options. Ok, allora bisogna una penna. You need a pen. So again, if you need to pause it now, then do so. But you're going to write down what these times mean in English next to it. Ok? I say next to it, obviously you're going to have a piece of paper and just be writing them down. Ok, fa una pausa. Risposte allora? Ok. Ecco. Ok, so some answers for you there. So the first one is 11.25, then 2.10, 4.20, 3.05, 8.15, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, and finally, una meno un quarto. Remember that meno means minus, so minus a quarter. So if it's one minus a quarter, it's quarter to one. Okay, quarter to one. Perfetto. Okay, ora, ascoltate, che cambia? So this is a different type of exercise to what we've just done. It's still a listening. You still need to focus on what you've got in front of you. But you're trying to work out what I have changed each time that you hear the phrase, okay? So it may well be that one part of the phrase changes. So, for example, on B, instead of saying alle due e dieci, I might say alle due e mezza. So the word that's changed is dieci. So it, I would be changing it from 2.10 to 2.30, okay? So you're listening out for something in each phrase that's going to change. Okay, va bene. Allora, frase A. Okay, first phrase A. Alle dieci e venticinque. Alle dieci e venticinque. B. Alle due e dodici. Alle due e dodici. C. Alle quattro e quaranta. Alle quattro e quaranta. D. Alle tre e quindici. Alle tre e quindici. E. Alle otto meno un quarto. Alle otto meno un quarto. F. Alle nove e trenta. Alle nove e trenta. G. Alle tredici e quaranta. Alle tredici e quaranta. H. Aluna meno quindici. Aluna meno quindici. Ok, finito. Ok, di nuovo, se bisogna, si può ripetere. Ok, if you need to, you can repeat it. So, pause, go back. Se no, continuiamo con le risposte. Ok, allora, le risposte. Che cosa cambia? So what did change? So this time, instead of saying alle undici, which was what was there before, it changed to alle dieci. So if you've written it as a word, then that's fine. If you've written it like this, then equally that makes sense too. Okay. The word that changed was this one. It went to dodici. So twelve. Quattro e quaranta is for forty. Tre e quindici, okay, I changed it. Um, it didn't make a massive difference because before I changed it, it was in fact un quarto before, which still means quarter past. Then we had otto meno un quarto, so the meno meant minus, okay, so it's eight minus a quarter this time. Nove e trenta, trenta remember means thirty, it's another way of saying mezza, which is saying half past. Then we had tredici e quaranta, so thirteen forty. Aluna meno quindici. So again, the word quindici is replacing quarto, okay? Quarto mean quarter, quindici, 15 minutes is obviously a quarter of an hour. Okay, bene. 
Ok, un esempio. A che ora? Remember, a che ora meaning at what time? Ok, un esempio. Let's look at the example. So, the example says 3.15. Ok, remember in Italian, if you want to say 3.15, you can either use the number 15 or you would say 3 and a quarter. Ok, so if we look at the question, la domanda, scusa, a che ora arriva il treno? Scusa, a che ora arriva il treno? Allora, la domanda, cosa significa in inglese? What do you think that means in English? A che ora arriva il treno? Ok, well it means, excuse me, at what time does the train arrive? Ok, so a common thing, you're going to be asking what time things arrive, go, open, close for this topic when you're in town. E la risposta, the answer, arriva, it arrives, which you take straight from the question, alle tre e un quarto, ok, because you're putting in the example, I've given you the example time. So, doing that again, if you're working in pairs, then one of you would take the question, the other person would take the answer. If you have someone that you know you can give a ring and do this with at the same time, then why not do that? Otherwise, you're going to have to say both lines yourself. Um, so, scusa, a che ora arriva il treno? Arriva alle tre e un quarto. Ok, numero uno. This time you're going to have to say that the train arrives at six. Ok, but number two, say the train arrives at four. So all of these, they get progressively harder. Um, work your way through them. See if you can get all of the times right. I will just give you a chance to do that. You can obviously pause it and then I will tell you what the times were because that's the bit that is really difficult. That's the only bit that is changing. Ok, allora, vai e fa una pausa. Finito? Sì? Ok, le risposte. Scusa, a che ora arriva il treno? Arriva alle 6. Numero 2. Arriva alle 4. Numero 3. Arriva alle 10 e 5. 4. Arriva alle 12 e un quarto o alle 12 e 15. Numero 5. Arriva alle 5 e 30 o alle 5 e mezza. Numero 6 alle 7 e 20. Numero 7 alle 5 e 10. Numero 6 alle... Eh, scusa, alle 8. Scusa, domanda 8. Alle 6 e 45 o alle 7 meno un quarto. Ok, so you can say 6.45, 6 e 45 o you can say... 6 minus a quarter, 7 meno un quarto. Numero 9, alle 7 e 50, oppure alle 8 meno 10. Finalmente, alle 9 e 55, oppure alle 10 meno 5. Ok, with all of these, where there's two options, the word you're hearing me say in the middle is either o or oppure, both of which mean or. Ok? Va bene. So, saying when a place is open. If you want to say the cinema is open from 9. Ok, now we've been saying so far at 9, alle 9. If you want to say from 9, not much of a difference. It's dalle. So, alle for at, dalle meaning from. So, the phrase the cinema is open would be il cinema. And then the word is open, è aperto dalle 9. Ok, so if you were saying the cinema was open from 10, il cinema è aperto dalle 10. If the cinema was open from 9.30, il cinema è aperto dalle 9 e mezza. Ok, il prossimo. The stadium. So the stadium is open from 11. Lo stadio è aperto dalle 11. The bar is open from 10.30. Come si dice? How would you say that? Il bar è aperto dalle dieci e mezza. Ok, che manca? So, what have I taken out? Il duomo è aperto. Il museo è aperto. Il è aperto dalle. Il cinema è dalle nove e dieci alle dieci e. Ok, and you can see that these go through fairly fast. So I'm going to go back right to the beginning, okay, give you a chance to think about it and then give you the answer straight after. So pause each one individually and then listen to the answer. Allora, il duomo è aperto dalle quattro. Il museo è aperto 
dalle due e un quarto. Il teatro è aperto dalle nove. Il cinema è aperto, the word I've taken out is the word that means open, aperto, dalle nove e dieci, alle dieci e venti. Okay, notice we've got dalle and alle here. So from nine, ten, to ten, twenty. So from and to, dalle, alle. Il parco è aperto. From one, da luna. Alle sei e quarantacinque. Il bar è aperto dalle otto alle. So from eight until. So you could either, if it's midday, say mezzogiorno, midnight, mezzanotte, or simply saying dodici, the twelve. Il centro sportivo è aperto dalle sette e mezza alle undici. Okay, so the sports center is open. From, dalle, until, alle. Okay, allora, hai capito? So, another listening task for you to have a go at. Allora, bisogna una penna, okay? Ascoltate e scrivete. So, grab yourself a pen, una penna. So, let's see if you've understood, hai capito? So, you're writing the letter of the word you hear me say and the number for the time that goes with it. So for these phrases, okay, you're trying to work out from what we've just been practicing, what time these places are open from, okay? That's what you're going to hear in the phrase. So it'll be something like, the cathedral is open from 7.10. The park is open from 1 o'clock, okay? So it's just a letter and a number. Una lettera e un numero. That's what I'm expecting you to write down, okay? Capito? Okay, va bene. Allora. Il Duomo è aperto dalle sette e dieci. B. Il museo è aperto dalle tre e venti. C. Il teatro è aperto da luna. Il teatro è aperto da luna. D. L'ufficio postale è aperto dalle 5 e 35. E. Il parco è aperto dalle 7 e 30. F. Il bar è aperto dalle 2 e mezza. G. Il centro sportivo è aperto dalle 5 meno un quarto. H. La sala dei giochi è aperta dalle sei e un quarto. I. La piscina è aperta dalle venti e cinquanta. I lunga. Lo stadio è aperto dalle dodici. Ok, finito. So if you need to hear those and go back over them again, okay, if you want them repeated, then pause the video and go back, okay? Se bisogna ripetere, si può fare una pausa e tornare indietro, okay? Se no, facciamo le risposte. If not, here's your answers, okay? So let's see how you've got on. So your answers are on the right-hand side. We have A7, B8, C1, D3, E9, F2, G4, H6, I10, I lunga, 5. Ok, va bene. Perfetto. Ok, so if you want to have a go at practicing a few more phrases on your own, ok, we have four here for you to have a go at. So our example, ok, if you're saying an answer to the question, Quando è aperto il museo? So when, quando, is open, è aperto il museo, the museum. When is the museum open? And your time is from 10 until 12. Your answer would incorporate the question. So saying the museum is open, il museo è aperto. And this time we're saying from and until, 
dalle 10 alle 12. Dalle 10 alle 12. So for number one, again, either ask yourself the question and answer it or ask someone else that you know the question and they can answer it with you. But it's the sports centre and you're saying from 2 till 5. Okay, each time you want to have to think about this, pause it because I will say the answers one at a time. Okay, numero uno. Il centro sportivo è aperto dalle due alle cinque. Numero due. L'ufficio turistico è aperto dalle sei e dieci alle sette e un quarto. Numero tre. L'ufficio postale è aperto dalle nove e mezza alle undici meno un quarto. 4. Il cinema è aperto dalle 5 e 25 alle 11 e 35. Ok? Continuiamo. Same format again. Four different questions, four different times. Ok, numero 5. Il mercato è aperto dalle 3 alle 4 e un quarto. 6. Il teatro è aperto dalle 6 e 20 alle 12 e un quarto. 7. Il duomo è aperto dalle 7 e 30 alle 11 e 50. Numero 8. La scuola è aperta dalle 10 e un quarto alle 1 e 5. Ok, va bene. In città scrivete, ok? Now, you will notice that when I show you this document that it is a match-up exercise, ok? Abinale frasi, meaning match the phrases. Um, be careful because some places are listed twice. Now, if you want to do this as a written exercise, then feel free to do it. I will uh, make sure that the worksheet is uploaded for you onto SharePoint so you can print that off. Ok, otherwise... If you don't want to do that, then you can just have a look at the phrases now. Okay, they should be fairly easy for you to see. Um, okay, so we're matching up the phrases on the left with the times on the right. So take some time. Okay, off you go. Le risposte allora. Okay, I've no idea why our first question starts with number two instead of number one, but there we go. Okay, so your phrase number two, it means the cinema is open from nine until three. Okay, allora la risposta è D. Okay, your answer is D. Numero tre, il duomo è aperto dalle tre e mezza alle dieci. So the cathedral is open from 3.30 to 10. Okay, F, 3 F. Quattro, il museo è aperto dalle otto alle undici e mezza. The museum is open from eight until 11.30. Ah, cinque, la piscina, that's the swimming pool. La piscina è aperta dalle sei e un quarto alle dieci. So looking for the swimming pool, it has to be B, okay? Um, e poi numero sei, il cinema è aperto dalle tre alle quattro e mezza. The cinema, okay, and this time be careful, there's two examples of the cinema. It's from three until half four, so it must be C, okay? Say C. Numero 7. Lo stadio è aperto dalle 12 alle 2 in meno un quarto. So the stadium, the stadium question again, there are two options. So this one is from 12 until quarter to 2. Allora, lettera E has to be E. Numero 8. Il parco è aperto dalle 9 alle 6 20. Park being open from 9 until 6 20. Okay, so... Um, that one must be H. Finalmente, numero 9. Lo stadio è aperto da luna alle 3. So the stadium is open from 1 until 3. That was the option that was left. So hopefully you've got G. Okay. Now this is where you can take some time and write some of your own sentences in Italian to say when places are open from and until. Obviously you have the video. You can go back over it. You also should hopefully have been using the exercises on Educandy to do some revision on places. So write as many as sentences as you can. Again, feel free to send them in to me 
so I can see what you're doing. Okay, but those are the structures that you need down the left hand side. Dalle and alle meaning from and unto and until. Just one thing that some of you may have noticed, and I'll point it out in case you think it's a mistake. The word aperto, open, okay, changes when you get to number five, la piscina è aperta. And that is because the word swimming pool, la piscina, is feminine. Therefore, the word aperto needs to change to aperta to agree with it. All of the other words that are in these examples are masculine. Therefore, um, they stay as aperto. Okay, va bene. So if we go back and just make sure that we're all happy with what we've done today, skipping down to the point where we were at. Okay. And um, that's where we were. Okay, now next time I see you, we're going to be doing one listening where you're going to see that you can still remember these things. So, listening to sentences about what time places open and close, and obviously knowing what the place is. So, between now and then, take a bit of time to make sure you're confident with that type of exercise. Okay, so whether that means you need to revise places more, whether you need to revise the time more, that is completely up to you. Okay, in terms of um, what you can do between now and then to do that, as I've mentioned, educandy.com. Um, if you go to that website, if you've not already used it, it's really easy to use. You type in the code here when you get onto that page. You don't need to have a login. It will just ask you to, what vocab you want to learn. And um, the vocab that is helpful for this topic is under the code 19AE1 and 19AE2. Um, you can, of course, make yourself a vocab test. Um, if you want to check that you're learning these rather than just staring at a screen, make yourself a test to see how you get on. Let me know. As I've mentioned before, if you're doing any work and you're happy with what you're doing or you just want me to see that you are actually working through this, then please send it in um, and give us any feedback you can on the lessons, Okay, whether or not you're finding that it's useful to have something on a video. Um, you will hopefully have spotted this already, but just another mention for Italian Lockdown Bingo. Um, the Bingo Grid is one which is full of tasks that you can do. You just simply need to do it with enthusiasm or passione, so do it with some enthusiasm. And I would like to see what you've done. So provide me with the evidence if you can send it in or save it. Um, send it to the MFL help at hewithgrange.org.uk address. I'm looking for things that are interesting and creative, okay, if you can make us laugh then even better. You will collect, uh, collect class charts points when you get back to school, all the tasks that you have completed in the lockdown bingo grid, okay. Um, the kind of tasks are these ones, I'll just make it slightly bigger so you can see. There we go. So um, this is available from um the lesson that was on last week but i will reissue it but these are some of the things that you could do you may not fancy doing all of them you may just decide that you want to do a couple but it's completely optional take a look see what you can come up with okay perfecto so that was our starter hopefully you can still do it um i will see you next time and i hope that you have a good week okay buona settimana have a good week ciao ciao ragazzi ciao